In this video, let us look into another operation on set called as the symmetric difference of two sets. Well, uh, simply to say, symmetric difference of two sets is nothing but the combination or the union of A minus B and B minus A from the previous video. Anyways, that's a quick explanation. L let's see what is actually defined and let's go according to how we've always gone in the previous videos. Alright, so here is the symmetric difference of two sets. Let A and B be two sets as shown in the Venn diagram. This, the symmetric difference of sets A and B is a set A minus B union B minus A and is denoted by A triangle B. So that's exactly what is shown here. You know, if you recall from the previous video, A minus B was only shaded here and B minus A was only shaded here. But the symmetric difference of two sets is nothing but both combined together. The union of A minus B and B minus A is the symmetric difference of two sets and is denoted by A triangle B. Alright, let's look into a quick example or an illustration to further understand the symmetric difference of two sets. Alright, here is an example. If A is a set of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and B is a set of 1, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 then what is A minus B? Then what is the symmetric difference of two sets? Symmetric difference of two sets is nothing but A minus B union B minus A. So A minus B will be all the elements of the set that belong only to A. So 2 and 4 only belong to A, others all belong to B as well. And what about B minus A? The, the elements of set that belongs only to B. So 9 is the only one that belongs only to B and everything else belongs to A as well. So therefore A minus B is 2, 4 and B minus A is 9. So when you, when you do union of A minus B and B minus A, you join both of these and A minus B union B minus A is nothing but A triangle B, which is A triangle B equals 2, 4, and 9. So this is the symmetric difference of two sets. This is how you do, you carry out the operation of symmetric difference of two sets. All right. So that ends this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with the next operation on sets, which is called as the complement of a set. Thank you.